Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back for episode 7 of my Metro Exodus playthrough. Not a walkthrough. Again, it's not a walkthrough. I don't know how to play the game myself. I waste ammo like crazy. But, this is episode 7. Um, today is the 18th of January. I have two more videos being uploaded later today. And I'll probably have this one and any others that I record today going up tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve, trying to stay ahead of it, while also giving you time to actually watch the videos, because they are like 50 minutes to an hour long, and I don't want to just bombard you with content, and then you actually not even be able to watch it. But, this is episode 7, um, I really hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am so far. I don't even know how, like, how far into the game we are, or how much further we have to go. Um... I think where we left off, we were on the train. We had just got the train from, like, the Fish God warehouse, right? And, um, we stopped and we got the little girl's teddy bear, or the little boy's teddy bear. And I think we stopped at a safe house and saved and ended there. Um, but yeah, let's hop right back into it. I'm ready to go. It was difficult, but I managed to get the rail car. The mutants were all over the Tsarfish temple. Looks like the locals offered human sacrifices to the Tsarfish here. Terrible. I'm glad I won't have to come back here. Anyway, now that I have the real car, it's time to get that carriage. Yes. Okay, so yeah, this is... This is where we left off. We were inside homie's, like, little bunker. We're doing good on ammo. We're chilling with that. I'm glad I looked up there. I would have missed that. I'll take my mask off. I don't know if it's safe here or not, but we'll take it off until... Until the game pretty much tells me otherwise. A lot of big, a lot of big demons over there. We're just trying to get to our, our little cart. Ooh. Is this a man? Yeah, I don't, I'm not trying to mess with them, the mutants. I'm not trying to do it. We're trying to get in here and dip. I do want to look at the map, though. See if there's any, like, other places of interest around here. Doesn't look like it. Just go straight to the, uh... Straight to this X up here. Gotta get some speed. Let's go. Put it in reverse, Terry. Oh, I see a dude. There's some bandits. Some, some, some evil doers. No, not night vision. You idiot. Pull out your binoculars. Yes, there's two there. All right. Well, I ain't scared. Let's get it. I love fighting bandits. I love it. They have so much loot on them. Let's get it. Sitting here, and why do you send the boys to the bridge? Those bridge have got no loot, and we can't sell them off to Astrakhan. Half would die before we got there, and paying off the Krivoy gang on the way would leave us in the red. Don't fret, 
Glabs. Whoa, what is this caravan carrying? Ammo or something? Well, it's all going to be ours no matter what. But the main point is that they got the tugboat. All the others buy slaves from Astrakhan and tow their barges up the river. <laughs> and these guys? They don't need no tow. They can cruise right up to Nizhny. When we get their boat, the like river will be ours. I don't like to hear one leak. Oh, I see. <laughs> we must be a real deal. But don't they have guards? Sure, but our boys can candle them. We will bag him, brand him, and sell him to Astrakhan. <laughs> Wonder if he's going to come down this ladder. about this thing. This is all right. Well, the guy just don't know what he's talking about. I don't give a fuck. How about the bitch took our guy out? Well, he's gonna pay for that for his ass. He's right here. Right to my left. I hear him. Where are you at, cousin? There doesn't seem to be anything in these little rail cars. I wonder if that's the guy that was up here. It looks like it. I see a man over here. This gun is so nice because it's like silent. I feel like I'm playing a uh, hitman or something. Oh no. That dude said I'm quitting. Yeah, I don't know where I am. I just got aim assist through that wall. <laughs> what in God's name is going on? These hoes don't stand a chance against your boy. Right as I say that, I almost died. <laughs> there he is, that fucker! That man put his gun up in the air. He's not gonna learn from his other boys. I love taking their attachments.
Where did homie go? Toilet, there's a toilet. I hear him. Frankly, I don't really care what he's doing too much. I just don't want him to sneak up on me and like kill me or something. Look at all these pickles and tomatoes. Well, cool. You were just trying to shoot me. You remember shit. that? I just had to end up in this fucking mess. Yep. <laughs> Shouldn't have tried to shoot me, dummy. Should know when I come around. You better put your guns down, cause you ain't gonna win either way. <clears throat> I don't think I got to loot any of the bodies outside. So hopefully I remember to do that. This game, it kind of reminds me of like a cross between uh, like Fallout and like a Hitman game because I'm running around like silently just murdering people, you know. But then Fallout, because it's post-apocalyptic, you're making guns out of trash pretty much. go down here make sure we didn't miss any of the loot from these people in here <laughs> yeah sounds good to me all right I think we got them all. I think we looted it all pretty much. Um, getting some new attachments. Like I said, I love facing off against the bandits because they they just they have so much stuff. Compared to like fighting mutants and everything, the mutants don't drop anything. But the bandits drop a lot. They drop guns, they drop ammo, they got scrap all over them. Like, I'm over here just flourishing. All right, so now we open that. Now we can get inside. Get inside and go get, I'm assuming, that train car that's in there. We don't talk about broom, no. Did we get the train? I'm assuming. Oh no. Okay, I can't turn around anymore, so. Let's keep her going. 
doesn't really look like there's much else to loot. I mean, there's a couple, like, little camps from what the map looks like, but I think we pretty much got most of the stuff that we need, like, the important stuff. So if, once we get back to, <clears throat> once we get back to our, um, the Aurora, if it triggers, like, a an escape from this area, I wouldn't be too, like, upset, I guess. I still do want to explore the whole area and, like, finish it up, but if we can't, we can't, you know. That looks like the Aurora right there. Oh, no, that's busted, busted open. We just ran over a mutant. Just ran him straight over. What's happening? There's a lot of these, uh, those little mutants here. put that on because I heard the Geiger counter going up so swag we made it Little girl. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, Uncle I have something to talk to. Really I knew you had great teddy. potential. Even back then at the jammer. Teddy? Teddy, are you really back? You're my hero, Teddy. Teddy. Mom, Teddy's back. What do you have to say? Oh, thank you, Uncle Artyom. Thank you so much. Thank you, Artyom. I don't even know how to thank you. Spasibo. Thank you, Artyom. You are the man. Yes. I am in your debt. Yes, you are, Stepan. Come on, Artyom. Come up here. I'm here. Well, come on. The old man's waiting. No, I want you to give me more attachments. That's why I'm here for you. I don't. I don't care if the old man's waiting. I'm here for attachments from you, Buster. Okay, so the long barrel and compensator I have is better than this standard barrel. Oh yeah, cleaned. It's cleaned. It's good. Yeah, I gotta stick with the 50 round mag, bro. I can't be trading that out. Okay, okay. This one is uh, 27 steel balls or 9 capsules. I don't know what a capsule is. I really like this uh, weapon. It's so nice. Repair the gas mask, you know. Let's get it. Alright, we're looking good. Again, I haven't even fired my guns except for the, uh... You're back. The little you did great. pellet gun Thank one. You. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gate, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. 
The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. Yep, one more thing, Artyom. Yeah, look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Yeah, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen, huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, huh? not tank jocks. Okay. Good luck, Artyom. Swag, swag, swag. You don't got any, like, attachments for me, Welcome homie? back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. You don't need to worry about me. It's my age, I guess. I'm full grown. Oh, well, we were all worried. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck. And thanks again. Okay, so it didn't necessarily trigger the, uh, the end, I guess, but more or less like we're on the last mission i want to find a boat and go to that little island with the question mark ah i don't know if it's worth honestly we need to go find our boy but he's across the river i don't know how to get there Who's in position? How are y'all over there already? Better leave me alone, you cockroach. So my dude, he doesn't know how to swim. So how am I supposed to get over here if he don't know how to swim? I really gotta go this way? Oh no, man. It's dumb. That's dumb, I tell you that much. I heard someone shooting that way. Oh, my man's my man's tired, so he he can't see straight right now. He's been running too much. He been running too much. He can't see straight. Gotta forgive him. We don't talk about Bruno. I hear lots of monsters around me. I just don't see them. They're going to jump out of these bushes on me. Artyom, I see you. Come up here on the crane. How do you see me? What crane? That one? It would seem so. Hear the the sawfish. Lair. Follow me, but forward the tugboat ladder. Sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Go in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position. Ready to. Guard off. He's yoked on the far crane. Ready 
There's only two of them here. He's repairing something, so <laughs> this seems to be the best part for quite empty. And we're only here than two. By the way, there's only one guard in the hole in here. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Hitchcock, and I will go back to the Aurora, while our John, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. I don't remember how to do, um, like the distraction, you know? You saw nothing. No. knocked homie out so that wasn't that wasn't uh as seamless as it could have been but we got it done you know don't shoot don't shoot i can pay the, the goods take them you can take the goods stay calm it's us
Waker. We're gonna go about halfway there and then wait in the reeds until about four o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. With the the guy knocked out on the boat. What if he wakes up? What do we do with him if he wakes up? Oh my, look at the graphics on this. We're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? Yes. That's the control post. What used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine. Blet. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Okay, so we gotta try and do this one quietly, because I'm assuming there's just a ton of guards. Hey, you are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> Whoa, you're so funny! Jackass, bullet. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg. Look at me climbing up this rope. Like a little spider monkey. <laughs> that man was doing his cross, bro. He can't. He's he's patrolling the wrong area. I'm I'm caught in a bad spot right now, and I don't really know. I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. God Almighty and Justice, shield us from the 
Is this an elevator or what? And from its temptation. And save I'm gonna go back in here. To serve your will and confirm your power here on earth again. Just as you have confirmed it in heaven. And give us strength to triumph over Satan's minions. And punish us should we prove unworthy. <laughs> Look at my man's body. <laughs> How your back do that? This looks like an elevator, right? I'm not tripping. Oh, that's because it is. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just didn't see the lever. Oh no. Kinda. Oh my god, don't stop here. And the ground burned to ash. And the seas boiled. And people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived. For the faithful reside here. And the Lord in his mercy and wisdom has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silantius. And so speaketh the Lord. I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion, provided you reject satanic technology. We, we reject. reject. And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception, that thing they call electric current? The cursed gift the enemy gave to the fools so that they would fancy themselves above reproach, above God, and more powerful than him. We reject. Amen, my children, for the electric current, his Satan's temptation, and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the dark age. Glory to thee! So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who attack our cloister. Even with their iron seed standing before us, Still the king of Machino is not Oh, that's lame, man. We almost made it. I don't know why that dude turned around when he did. But we are in it now, aren't we? Yes. Oh, cold man, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully. Our guys won't shoot, or this place is going bye bye. And Katya, you don't have to worry about her anymore. Understood? For deceiving Katya, you must pray to the Lord for 
forgiveness, but for murdering my children, the children of God, you will burn in hell until the end of days! Not about to die. So we gotta stop, right? We can't just keep going. I took out most of the camp already. Let's just go back and get our boy. I wonder if there was a way I could do that differently to where he didn't do that. You know, where he didn't get shot. I mean, it was a cutscene. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in. And it's not our responsibility to fix it. We only wanted to pass through. And it was not my fault they screamed for blood. Their zealousness reminded me of the Metro. Where people are indoctrinated into a lie. That the world is dead and there's nowhere to go. Anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie. That the war is still going on. Here it's electricity is a sin. Same difference, really. So we are now in a new area. It sucks that our boy Duke uh, died or got left or whatever. Artyom, wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. She said it's my turn to nap. I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy, really. He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. What to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. Just told me to get up. Uncle Tokarev has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder it'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. Yeah, it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are still... Oh, a smoke break. That's ready. good. Oh. <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. Uh, it sucks that Duke died. I'm a little upset about it, honestly. I feel like I, if I would have been secret well, there, like you're subtle. You're the right kind of guys. You, the colonel, Duke. That guy did a swell job on that bridge. 
He was a big guy. May he rest in peace. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay the debt back, okay? So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Dude's plate carrier didn't hold your back plate anymore. And he, he just. Ooh, new note. So I missed a lot of notes from uh, the Volga. I just don't know where they could be. Alright, Nastia's letter. Dear Daddy, I write this so you know where to look for Mommy and me when you come back because Mommy and I wanted to stay. But Salentia says we must go to the tower and leave this car and I don't want to. I wanted to wait for you in the car but Mommy said I can't and Salentia said you won't come back because you failed the test of faith. He is a stupid liar because you never needed any test as their faith is dumb. I remember you said so. Mommy said... Nothing, but I know she is waiting for you too, so please come back soon and take us away from this fools. Kept joking about it. But guys, that is going to be the end of episode 7 of our Metro Exodus playthrough. We finished in the Volga, and now we are on to spring. We are uh, moving. It sucks that Duke died. I'm a little upset. I feel like maybe if I was more subtle, more uh, sneaky in that scene, maybe he wouldn't have called out. But I mean, whenever he called out, we were in a cut scene, so I couldn't have changed anything about that. Um, I just don't know if the cut scene would have been different if we completely took him by surprise. I don't know. Uh, I guess it's just kind of up in the air. But regardless... We're done with this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am. I'm probably going to immediately start recording the next episode because I really can't put the game down. I'm having so much fun with it. I love the story. I love just the the open world of it mixed with the story progression and the Fallout feel to it. It's just it's it's a lot of fun. And uh, anyways, guys, I love you. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe.